hello everyone you're welcome back to this channel what i have today is how to share with you an elastic cape blouse and trust you're going to enjoy this tutorial so it's very very easy just take your time and watch this video to the end thank you so let's get started like as you can see right here i folded the i have four pieces right here so i'm going to count one two three and four so i'll be cutting both the front piece and the back piece together so the first thing i'm going to do right here is to measure what i have as the one quarter of my circumference now i have a 11 inches as you can see right here that's for the width then for the length for the length i have the total of 23 inches right here that is the hem allowance inclusive so after that let's go into the uh, tutorial properly now the first thing i will be doing right here from the edge here i'm going to measure three inches inward so i mark three inches right here okay now for the depth the depth i will be marking seven inches that is from the edge here i mark seven inches downwards so i connect this line like i'm doing right now i connect it together okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to extend this to the other side to this side this line so i extend to the to this end other line right here so the next thing i'm going to do is to create my curve right at, at this hammer so i'm going to create a slight curve right here okay can you see so having created that curve so the next thing is to cut this off so i'm going to take my scissors right now and do that quickly so i'm going to cut it off so can you see this is what i'll be taking off so having completed this so the next thing is to cut what i'm going to use as the cake itself so as you can see right here i have uh, two pieces right here and these two pieces is going to serve as my cape. Now I have the width of this end. These um, pieces, the width of each of it is 10 inches. Up. Let me just say 10 inches, as you can see right here. Now the length is, I have the length to be, I'm going to measure 30.5 inches. That's for the length. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 on both sides at the edge. So from this edge, I will mark 0 0.5 downward. So I have it here, 0 0.5. So I proceed, I mark 0 0.5. I proceed i mark 0 0.5 till i get to the this other edge so i proceed like that after marking this 0 0.5 all through the next thing is just to connect the lines together and what i'm doing right here is what i will be doing to the second piece you know it's two pieces so like i said the next thing i'm going to do right now is just to connect these lines together so I'm going to place my ruler on it and connect the lines together. So, as you can see right here, I've um, connected the two lines, the lines together. So the next thing I'm going to do, each of these right now, I'm going to fold it 
using that 0 0.5 i fold it like this and i high on it so i fold it like this and i high on it and and what i'm doing right here i will be repeating it on the second piece now as you can see right here i've i went ahead to high on it that's 0 0.5 you can see I high on it, both two, the two pieces. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to fold in, I'm going to fold in by one inch, just one inch. So I'm going to measure and I fold by one inch. So this is one inch. So, so or I extend it to 1.25, that is one one quarter. So let me just use one one quarter inch, one one quarter inch, and uh, here is it. So it's okay like that. Let me use one one quarter. So as you can see, I will be using one one quarter, okay, to refold it again the second time. You know, the first time I used zero point five to fold it in, but this time around I'm, I will be using one point two five. That is one one quarter inches. So it will. Is, this is how it's going to be. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do it to both the two pieces. That's the next thing. Now, as you can see right here, you can see I've done this. I've folded it with that 1.25 uh, inches. And the next thing I'm going to so I'm going to keep this aside. The next thing I'm going to do right now is to take the bodies. So the bodies, I'm going to lay it right side to right side. So here is the right side. So I place it like this, okay? Then I take the second piece. I lay it on it right side to right side, okay? So this is the wrong side. And here is the wrong side. So right now, the, what I'm going to do is to stitch the side. So I place it equally. So now I'm going to proceed and stitch the, the sides with 0 0.5 downward. And I will also do it to the second one too. So I'm going to stitch 0 0.5. Okay. So I stitch downwards. So that's the next thing. Now, as you can see, I've sealed the sides. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to seal the the ammo, the ammo, the ammo here. So here is my uh, bias tape. So I have like a, approximately 1.5 inches. For the width of this bias tape and you see less than two inches so a problem is just approximately 1.5 inches or let me just say one three quarter so it's less than two inches so i'm going to go right now to my machine so i'm going to place it right side to right side this is the right side and this is the right side so i'm going to stitch with 0 0.5 down like that now, as you can see right here, I've completed the ammo. The next thing for me right now is just to high on it so that it will relax way. And also the sides I'm going to high on. So after that, the next thing is just to take my cape. Okay. You know it's two pieces. So I'm going to join it together. I'm going to stitch it together. So I'm just open this edge like this. I place it right side to right side sorry so i place it right side to right side like i'm doing right now so i will just go ahead and stitch together so i'm going to stitch like this and also on the other side i will do likewise i will open it open what i have like this so i stitch it down also so i will have one uh, cape 
one piece so as you can see right here i've stitched the two sides there is it so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to fold it back to the right side so i'm going to fold it back so the way it was so i fold it back so after this i'm going to iron it again so that it will relax very well okay after that after ironing it the next thing i'm going to do is to go to the the down part of this cape here is the down part so i'm going to fold two times one two so i stitch so i run a stitch here the down part round So as you can see right here, I've finished sewing the down part of this cape. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to attach this cape to the bodies. So right now in doing that, the first thing I'm going to do right here, uh, the joining, you can see the joining. This is one joining. This is the second joining. So I'm going to make it equal like this. Okay so after that so i'm going to fold it into two equal parts like this okay so having done this so i'm going to mark the center point and the center point is going to be here so i'm going to use my chalk to mark it so in this case you, you don't have to launch it you only use chalk to mark it so and that is what i'm doing right now so right now having marked it i'm going to spread it out so haven't spread it out you can see this is the center point and this is the center point i will just go ahead and then transfer this to the back exactly okay i will also transfer this this one here to this place here can you see so the next thing I'm going to do right now is to now take the bodies. So I'm going to insert from inside of this cape. So I'm going to insert like this. And before I do this, this one also, I'm going to fold it into two equal parts. Haven't folded it into two equal parts. Let me just bring it out and work on this first. Now, for the bodies, I'm going to fold it into two equal parts. So, like this. So, I'm going to also mark the center point. So I will mark the center point, or in this case, I can launch, just launch it a little. So right now I'm going to open it out. Now that I've launched it, this, this point now tells me that this is the center point and also this the center point. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to measure 0 0.5 inches inward. At the edge 0 0.5 I come here I mark 0 0.5 I also come to the edge here I will also mark 0 0.5 inch so I will also do likewise to this one here I will also mark 0 0.5 inch downward then 0 0.5 inch then here 0 0.5 inch so having done that the next thing is just to connect these lines together and also these lines together so as you can see i've connected the lines together also here i've connected it together so right now i'm going to bring the cape in again okay so 
So I'm going to spread it like this. Remember, this is the center point. So all I need to do is just to bring this one inside like this. So I open it. So the center front of this one, we meet with this, the center front of the cake. So I'm, I will just open what I, what I have here. So I will just push it inside with that 0 0.5. And that is the reason why I had to mark it so that I will know the exact um, allowance which I'm giving for it. So I'm going to mark it, I mean, I'm going to push it in. Now you can see it doesn't exceed that line. So the next thing right now is to use my pin to pin it down. So I will use pin to pin it down. So that by the time I'm sewing, one is no longer than one. It will be, it will be on that, that line which have marked so i'll be very conscious of the line which have marked so we go ahead and pin it down all through I also pin it down to this point. So what I've done to this one is what I will be doing to the second part or the front panel is what I will be doing to the same uh, the second piece. So I will go ahead and turn this like this. Then I will also insert this one. So I will be conscious of the center point of both piece, pieces this is the center point for this look at it where i launch and this is the center point for this so from the center point i'm going to insert push it in so i push it in making sure that it doesn't exceed that 0 0.5 which i mark on it okay so I will just go ahead and pin it this, uh, the same way I did to the first piece. So as you can see right here, I've pinned it down also. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to measure from this point here. I'm going to measure just like one inch. So I, I mean, I, I mark one inch here from this point here i mark one inch so the next thing i'm going to do right now i will mark one inch so i'm going to start the sewing from this place here so i start it just at the edge i seal from the edge round till i get to this point so this point is going to be left like that because it is through this uh, opening that I'm going to pass my elastic. So the next thing right now is to, after that, after that, after I've sealed it to this point, now I'm going to cut the length of my elastic. So here is my elastic and uh, the length of this elastic which I've cut is uh, 26 inches. So I'm going to measure so that you can see. So I have 26 inches. So before I insert my elastic, after that I've got to this point, seeing this base to this point, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to, I'm going to come down by 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. Then I seal round again at the edge here. So it's going to 
I will be left with just a little space for the elastic. So after that, I've done with the edge, sewing it with 0 0.5 or 0 0.7, then I can now insert my elastic there and sew it. Then after that, I will just go to the base, the down part, and hem it, and hem the down part. Then we are done. Now, as you can see right here, I've sealed the upper part. Can you see? Look at it. So, I seal it round. So, and I also went ahead to sew the down part. I folded it into two. Then I seal. Can you see? So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is just to insert my elastic from the space where I lead. I left the other time. So right now I'm going to pass my elastic like I said. So I'm going to use this safety pin. I will just insert it to the edge of the elastic. Okay. Then I can now pass it. So here is it. So I will just pass. Can you see? So this is how I'm just, I will just go ahead and pass the elastic till I complete it. Alright, so far so good. I've come to the end of this tutorial. Here is it. Here is the elastic, you can see, or uh, the shoulder. Very, very beautiful and easy. So I really want to appreciate you for taking your time to watch this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. So if you have any question, kindly drop your question in the comment section. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are here to do so. And you put on your notification bells. You click on the notification bell and you make sure that it is always on. So that anytime I post an, a new video, you can have access to it. Thank you very, very much. Now... Feel free to share this video out also. Till I come your way again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.